The federal government is considering all options against Yoruba Nation separatist group, including the proscription of the movement led by Professor Banji Akintoye and Sunday Adeyemo, also known as Sunday Boho, Punch reports. According to the Office of the Attorney General of the Federation, Abubakar Malami San, the federal government will explore all options within the content of the law to ensure a peaceful and united Nigeria. Malami's Special Assistant on Media and Public Relations, Omar Gwandu, stated this in an interview with Punch on Saturday. The AGF's aide also said it was not true that the government of the President Major General Muhammad Buhari retired has not been prosecuting terrorists and bandits. Gwendu, however, did not give details of what the government has been doing on the planned extradition of Igboho, who has been in a detention facility in Kotonu, Benin Republic, since he was arrested around 8 p.m. on July 19, 2021, by the Interpol at the Kadjehon Airport. We exclusively, you know, exclusively pardon, reported last week that the federal government was plotting the arrest of Akintoye, Igboho's partner in the struggle for the secession of Yoruba from Nigeria. The octogenarian professor of history, who was seen, you know, since, pardon, left Nigeria for neighboring Benin Republic, ostensibly to escape plots of his arrest, had said he was not afraid of any arrest. The 86 years old scholar had said he was in Benin Republic to ensure the release of Igboho and will return to Nigeria as soon as the embattled 48 year old agitator was freed. Akintoye, the leader of the umbrella body of the Yoruba Self Determination Group, also known as Ilano Omo Odua and Igboho, have been seen together at press conferences and rallies championing the cause to secede from Nigeria and establish a Yoruba nation. The Department of State Service has raided Igboho's residence around 1 a.m. on July 1, 2021. The secret police had said it killed two of its associates and arrested about 12 others during the bloody raid. Igboho, who narrowly escaped, the blood raid was subsequently declared wanted for allegedly stockpiling weapons to destabilize Nigeria under the pretext of Yoruba nation. The DSS had also alleged that it recovered seven AK-47 rifles, three pump actions rifles, one stunt gun, 221 life rounds of 5.656 M meter ammunitions, 1,295 life rounds of 7.62 mm ammunition, one jackknife, and a walking talking during the raid of Igboho's house on July 1st, 2021. Igboho had denied the allegations. After going underground for 19 days, Igboho found his way to Benin Republic, but luck ran out on him. You know, luck ran out of him. And he was arrested around 8 p.m. on July 19, 2021, by the Interpol at the Kajehun Airport in Kotonu when he tried to board a flight to Germany. Igboho was arrested after the federal government notified its Western African neighbors, including Republic of Benin, that he should be captured. He was arrested with his wife, Ropo, but the court they appealed the Kotonu ordered the release of his wife based in Germany, saying there was no allegations against her. They called the appeal the Kotonu, however, ordered that Ibuho be in prison custody in the country while further investigations will be carried out on the case against him. Ibuho, who is now seeking asylum in Benin Republic, is facing allegations bordering on trafficking in arms, citing violence and causing disunity in Nigeria. Some of the other offenses said to have been committed by the activists bordered on entering the Benin Republic illegally and alleged 
planned intent to cause social unrest in the West African country. Though currently in detention, the court granted the 48-year-old agitator access to medical care while his lawyer continued the battle for his release and kick against his extradition to Nigeria. Asked whether the AGF office had abandoned the extradition of Igboho or otherwise, Malami's aide said he could not make the processes known to the public. Gwando said, There are certain things that may not require publicity, but the important thing is having a peaceful Nigeria and not discussing all or making public some of the processes so far. The AGF office is responsible for matters regarding extradition, repatriation, and transfer of suspects or wanted person. Malami had on June 29, 2021 announced the arrest and extradition of the leader of the proscribed indigenous people of Biafra in Abdikano from a foreign country. The AGF office has since rearranged the IPOB leader before Justice Pinta Onyako for terrorism-related charges. The trial of Kano remanded in DSS custody in Abuja has since been adjourned till October 21, 2021. In September 2017, Malami and the then Solicitor General of the Federation and Panama, you know, Permanent pardon, Secretary of the Federal Ministry of Justice, Mr. Dayo Apata, had approached the Federal High Court in Abuja to give judicial backing to the executive order of President Muhammadu outlawing IPOB and its activities in every part of Nigeria. The then acting judge, the then acting chief judge of the Federal High Court, Justice Abdu Kafarati, had granted the order proscribing the group. Speaking with our correspondent on Saturday, the AGF office said options were on the table to deal with Yoruba nation groups to ensure a united and peaceful Nigeria. The federal government is interested in having a peaceful Nigeria, so all options cannot be ruled out. All options in order to have a peaceful and you know serene atmosphere in the country can be explored by the federal government, he said. What is your thought about this? What is your reaction to this present situation? According to what we've heard, obviously we can see that the Yoruba nation are agitating for Yoruba nation because the Yoruba nation has the feeling, you know, in fact, the Yoruba nation is the feeling of the people that if this, you know, country cannot work, they deserve to have, you know, a country that can work. Because looking at the present situation of things in Nigeria, obviously people are thinking Nigeria cannot work again. So. We can no longer stay in a country who cannot work. Why we can get our own country of which can work for us? What is your thought about this? We'd like you to share your thought with us on this plane development. We'd like you to share your reaction with us on this. But before we go, let's people's reactions and know their thoughts about this. Let's see what people have felt concerning the present situation of things in Nigeria. Fajobi Olushola reacted to this and said, We are not terrorists. Have we been going around with guns and ammunition? We will follow the due process in actualizing our self-determination project. Those options could only emanate from the office of AGF who benefited to be a son as a result of federal character quarter system. What is your thought about what Fija Jobi have said concerning the present situation, you know, situation of things in Nigeria? That we are not terrorists, we are only you know, agitating for what is best for us. Have we been seen going around with guns and ammunition? We will follow due process in actualizing our self-determination project. All these options, you see, can only you know, emanate from the office of the AGF. AGF who benefited to be a son as a result of the federal character quota system. What is your reaction to this that has been said? We'd like you to drop your thoughts on this that has been said. Don't forget that the federal government may outlaw Yoruba nation group like IPOB. That is what is going on presently. What is your thoughts about this? We'd like you to share your thoughts with us via the comment section. Thank you guys for listening. Do subscribe to this channel if you have not. And I'll see you on the other news. Bye for now.